name is always to give more peace. So how do we get it? Well, I think how we get it, how we begin to get it, because, you know, I have to say, I don't think that my lack of peace is caused by the deer. It's caused by people. <laughs> and then what is the source of that rupture? Uh, the source of rup the rupture is that we do not understand that two people can have profound, true experiences for them that are not the same at once. Does that make sense? So something can be true for me from my frame of reference, and something can be true for you from your frame of reference. Those two things can be different. It doesn't mean you're bad or wrong. It means that your frame of reference is different. Well, if you disagree, no, just joking. <laughs> but it, it means that your frame of reference is different. And my frame of reference is different from yours. That is the way that you move from uh, conflict to dialogue. Because then all there is to do is inquire about somebody else's frame of reference, then it becomes interesting. And people who have touched on this single way of thinking, you can see them on the internet, you can tell who's seen it and who hasn't. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're the most fun people in the world to debate with, because they don't care. They don't care, because they know they, they can they they're they're seated in their knowing of their frame of right, reference is right, they don't have anything to prove. And they can be seated at the yours is too. And that is so much fun because then you can get in really good debates. Um, when I was in Mongolia, uh, my, um, my <laughs> I'm, I'm on tour and my, my Lama and um, the, oh, the Drupon was there though. Um, my drama, my, my drama, yes. <laughs> no, my drama never left, mm -hmm. but my llama did uh, for that dinner. And he, there were, he left me with, I think there were two, two llamas and a llama student. And, um, and I debate, it's what I do. I just, wherever I go, I debate. And so they knew what I did. Well, no, they didn't know what I did. They knew what they thought thought I did because people you know it's like those Instagram things where you say like oh I teach about orgasmic meditation and they like picture a Bacchanalian orgy or something I don't think they did but um but I do know that they you know they thought it was a little sexier than it is and um I, it's like I'm a Virgo I use antiseptic wipes um but um but no see astrology um so um so I was debating with them and, and the, I mean, this debate was like, it was just wild. And, and we were all keeping it up. I mean, it was like three hours of this debate and just really intense. And they're really good because they have no edges. It's like capoeira or something of debate. And they had no edges at any point. But when I, so they're also trained that if they lose a point to give it up. Does that make sense? And and I would do the same. And so um, so they would say, so what if I got a point, I got a point. Um, and one of them said, uh, oh my gosh, I think I just climaxed. They were speaking to my work. <laughs> and, then, and then the other guy said, oh, I've been climaxing the whole time. <laughs> and that's how they lose. They lose with that kind of fun and joy and humor because they have this fundamental <clears throat> confidence in their own frame.